I think our slogan sums it up, the standard and offshore performance. Any builder will tell you that, but not many builders will back it up with why. There's no one in the marine industry in New Zealand who could go pound and pound with us. My name's Alan Shaw, I'm the owner of Makara Boats. It's at Latin and it's the scientific name for sword or marlin, so like most, most marlin have um, Makara as the um, genus name. I grew up in Auckland and um, from a young age I was into fishing off the wharf sort of thing like most kids in New Zealand. My grandfather had a 5.6 metre buccaneer um, and he lived in the Coromandel in Fidianga. That was really where it started. I did my time at Alloy Yachts as a marine systems engineer. There was an 8,000 hour apprenticeship. Then went and worked overseas for a few years in oil and gas and uh, during my apprenticeship I did a lot of fishing. Did 7,000 k's in two years. In my trailer boat and um, I wanted to build a bigger boat. So uh, I went to the boat show and tried to inquire about a boat. Uh, with a couple of manufacturers who are sort of at the time at the pointy end of the offshore boat market and didn't really like what was there and didn't actually get any real answers out of them as to building a new boat because of my age. I was only 22 at the time. And so I just thought I'd build a boat for myself. Then someone else saw that boat that I was building and asked me to build them one and then the company's gone from there. So. From where we started, you know, um, hull number one, that was the boat I built for myself, it was called The Game. We built it in a shed in West Auckland and it was just, it was, you know, a good boat. But like anything, you know, 10 years down the track, it's a lot's changed, hull shapes changed, hull structures changed, um, like the fundamentals of the boat are completely different. Um, but then we've put a lot of R&D into the boats now and we're always trying to improve them. So, you know, this boat here that we're sitting on now is brand new. In five years time, there'll be a lot of new features in our boats. So. We've done a lot of work in our naval architecture around structure. Now our hulls are designed to meet Lloyd's special service craft um, in the hull structure. Frame spacing, girder spacing, stringer height, stringer thickness um, is built to at a minimum 30 knots in a metre of sea. So to put some like numbers on that to give you an idea, um, one of our closest competitors in this end of the market have runs a stringer which is 6 mil by 50 flat bar. Um, in the same size boat we're running 120 mil by 8 mil. So you know structurally three, four hundred percent stronger stringers in our hull versus our next best competitor. But there's a difference between building a boat and designing a boat around hull structure and what's acceptable. And as far as setting us apart, like I said before, with Lloyd, Lloyd's Special Service Craft is the structural grid that we build the boats to. There's some household names, you know, that they run an eight metre boat and they might have two frames in the whole eight metre boat. Our eight metre boat runs about eight or nine frames. So two versus eight, you know, you're, you're four times the structure. And then on top of that, we have to run, to meet Lloyd's, we have to run an eight mil hull plate. And our frame, like say for a 750 for example, our frame spacing 700 mil and our stringer spacing's 270 mil. And at 30 knots in Lloyd's, we have to run a minimum of seven and a half mil hull plate. So, we run an 8mm hull plate on all our boats, it's just a standard rule of thumb. You can name a boat whatever it is and talk up how good it is and no one ever admits to buying a bad boat because their boat's the best boat and this is why they bought it. Um, but the reality is there's a lot of people out there who don't actually know how to design a boat. You know, we have a full-time naval architect um, and, and our design team and um, he, he jumps through all the Lloyd's structure, so that's the big difference for us. Um, you know, you look at build time in one of our hulls, an eight metre hull for us takes about 140 hours to get off the jig. That's because there's seven rolls of MIG wire that go into it. A competitor's boat, they build the whole boat in that time. And they use probably two rolls of MIG wire. Um, the difference is night and day. Yeah, so we're building a new shop. Uh, well, we started out in, a, in West Auckland in a 110 square metre shop 
and um, then we moved up north and we were in a 250 square metre shop. Then we built the one we're in at the moment, that was 470 squares. And then we've just put a fit out area on the side of that, which is another 300 squares, I think. So we're currently 700-ish um, square metres. And the new shop's 2,400 squares, so a lot bigger, um, but purpose-built factory, which is moving more to production and streamlining the build process. Uh, so we do 750 up now. We've done a few smaller boats in the past, but I actually just built one for myself for 570 a few years ago. We've done a couple of them for owners, um, like uh, one of our owners owns a 35 and then they've got the mothership little ship. So yeah, 57, but we don't market them or anything. Our sizing is 750 up to, we've got plans for a 40, which isn't really in the public eye, but at the moment, 35 to foot to seven and a half meters. Uh, so this boat's called El Pescador, it's a 925, so a Gen 2 hull, uh, 2.8 metres beam, fuel tank is 650 litres, it's got 150 litres of water, and uh, 8 mil hull, it's got a 380 Volvo in it. Uh, it does 35 knots, heavy, uh, uses about 1.7 litres per nautical mile at 25 knots and trolls at about six or seven litres an hour. It's a pretty well specced boat, um, nicely finished interior, vinyl roof linings, diesel oven, uh, hot water running off the engine. Yeah, really well appointed boat. One of the things the owner didn't want in this boat was gas for like explosion reasons. Um, so it's cool to be able to run in a diesel boat, you get your hot water off the engine and it's got really good sleeping capacity, so. Volvo run Garmin gear now. Uh, so it's got a 22 inch Volvo Garmin plotter, um, zip weight tabs, and it's got a max power thruster in it as well. It's got a second station, and that second helm is worth its weight in gold. I enjoy building boats, like I get a kick out of every boat that goes out the shop. So I'm pretty lucky in that I really like what I do. When you do something you love, it's, it's not really a labor, you know a labour of love so yeah I don't really have anything that I, I dread yeah probably running the router 